Well, kicked off 22 of his 63 kickoffs have gone for touchbacks. That's a great number. This one's a line drive knuckleball fielded on a hop by Travis Benjamin. And he got stood up at the 23 yard line. 1,757 yard season this year. The great ratio, 18 touchdowns, just four interceptions, 64% completion, solid by just about any standard. But leading a Miami offense that has been inconsistent this season. Quick toss by Harris. Now to Alan Hearns, who lost the football after the catch. And the Seminoles, LaMarcus Joyner runs it in for a touchdown. Now Golden talked about the importance of getting off to a fast start in this environment. That's not what he had in mind either. Mike Harris stripped it. And Joyner ran it back in after the Alan Hearns fumble. I Just in reviewing it to see if Hearns had possession before the fumble, if it was a catch and then a fumble. Streak they're riding have outscored their opponents 154 to 39. The receiver did not control the ball. Mm. It's an incomplete pass. It'll be second down at the 20 yard line. Please reset the clock. Wow. 14, but it's supposed to be conclusive. Yeah, I agree with that. Now, was that conclusive? Maybe, maybe you could argue it either way. Yeah, you and I see it different, but we don't have striped shirts on. Can't say he clearly did not have that ball. Flag down. Miami catches an enormous break. Hearns in possession of the ball fully there goes for about eight. The Lamar Miller following his blockers to the right got banged down by Nigel Sean McDonough with Matt Millen and Heather Cox just underway here in Tallahassee. Miami with the first possession of the game. Ja'Cory Harris just threw it away as he was about to be sacked back at the 15 yard line. And generally, that's not how you block somebody. Dalton Botts punts for Miami. Greg Reed makes the fair catch near the 40-yard line. For those who just joined And after a four-minute replay review, they ruled it an incomplete pass. Manual quick pop to Burt Reed. And the Canes are saying that ball is out. And the officials unpiling it. Gain of five on the completion of the senior Reed. Now Devontae Freeman. True freshman bounces out near the 50-yard line and very Miami near and first. Florida State are loaded with underclassmen. A lot of young, talented players. Freeman again on third and short, and he lost yardage. Driven back by Sean Spence, the linebacker in the country. Now you're going to watch Sean Spence. You have Darius Smith in there. He's the only guy who has real, real size, and he holds the point. And because that point is held, then Spence is able to clean the thing up. Sean Spence has great football instincts and great football intelligence. Sean Powell will punt. Senior from Rome, Georgia. Leading punter in the ACC this year. Averaging just under 46 yards per punt. And that one's about a yard too long. No, they're, well, they're going to spot it at the one. Dope Campbell Stadium alive. Seminole fans making plenty of noise as Miami's backed up at its own one-yard line. Each team's had it once. They each punted once. Ja'Cory Harris will throw out of his own end zone, and it is caught. Tommy Streeter using his six foot team lead in reception. So Streeter now with one more than Benjamin. First and ten from the 15. Lamar Miller out across the 19-yard line. And as we mentioned, Nigel Bradham perhaps going to lead them in tackles for the third year in a row. Stephen Morris comes in at quarterback. They've done that recently. They have a package of plays in for him. This one's a handoff to Miller for about three more. They've got to get that running game going. Eduardo Clements has come in at running back. He's a short yardage specialist. Goes out in the pass pattern and has the catch and a lot of running room. Chopped down after first down yardage at the 32. And what, what you're going to see is exactly what your Corey Harris saw right away. He saw Reed drop, and you, you're going to take that right away. He had a void to the left side, dumped it off underneath, and picked up the first. That's a good job by vision of your Corey Harris. First and 10, 32-yard line. Five minutes gone by, no score. Lamar Miller now the running back. Play action pass for Harris. Throws caught. Travis Benjamin. They have to get the running game going because Miami is very big off of play action. And it does a lot of things. First, it gives you an extra guy to block in protection. 
and then it also gives the quarterback just that little extra time to be able to find the receiver down the field. Well done outside by Benjamin. Sixth man with over 2,000 yards receiving in Miami. Santana Moss, Reggie Wayne, Michael Irvin, Lamar Thomas, Leonard Hankerson, the others. That's a great group. And Lamar Miller pounds his way near another first down, just short of the seven. Both these teams say they want to be physical in the running game. And they have the talent. But being physical is not about just having talent. You have to think tough. You have to practice tough in order to play tough. It's an everyday thing. And it's only Al Golden and his staff have been preaching to the Seminoles ever since they arrived. The in Coral Gables. The toss back to Miller. And he gets the first down. Not much more than that to the 39. Tackled by James takes his place. Drive started at their own one yard line from the Florida State 39 now. Pass out in the flat. Caught by Philip Dorsett, another true freshman out of Fort Lauderdale with his 11th catch of the season. They'll mark it at the quarterback. He started that opener in Maryland when Harris was suspended. Benjamin the run after the catch, and he's very near a first down. They're going to mark it at the 28, and it is a first down for Miami. An impressive drive for the Hurricanes, an 11-yard game. And, and they're doing it mixing up their quarterbacks. And, and so right now, here's Morris going to football. And, Sean, you and I had their very first game of the season against, against Maryland to start. And they were impressed with Morris, and they said he had played really well. And then as soon as that game was over, they went right back to Ja'Cory Harris. Well, they felt Harris had outplayed him in their preseason practices. Wobbly pass, but it's caught by Hearns, who hung on at the 22-yard line in Morris packages. Yeah, they're having a package for Morris. But it's interesting the way they do it, because a lot of times when you think of a package, it's an option run right. or wildcat kind of plays, but that's not the case with Morris. He's running the same looking plays that Harris is running. Morris will not. Morris in there right now under center on third and one. And a trick play. Miller looked like he wanted to throw it. Now he pulls it down and has the first down. Got banged out by Christian Jones. They'll mark it near the 11-yard line. Eight-yard gain when the play got off to a shaky start. Well, and he was looking inside to Streeter. And Streeter had coverage. And then, did you see him shift gears? Miller just hit another gear and boom, went right down that right sideline. Maurice Hagen's the fullback in front of Lamar Miller. Inside the 10 to the 9, a two-yard pickup, second and eight upcoming. Cameron Seminoles giving up just 79 yards per game rushing. James goes in motion. Morris, a design run, and they take him down. Bjorn Werner. Having a tremendous drive comes down to this. Third and 14. 15th play of an eight-minute drive. Harris to the end zone. Up for grabs and picked off. LaMarcus Joyner with his third interception of the air. And then a flag thrown after the play. Talk about the improved decision-making of Ja'Cory Harris, Matt. That was not indicative of it. That's the old Ja'Cory Harris. He used to throw as many interceptions as touchdowns. Decisions. There's usually pressure, and he got it. Since October 1st, Harris has thrown 14 touchdowns and only one interception. Joiner the pick, still no score. Touchdown that was overturned, and now he has an interception. His penalty moved the ball back to the 10-yard line. Levante Freeman spins ahead for a yard. Well, let's go back and look at the decision by Ja'Cory Harris. Okay, he sees this coverage back here, okay? What he's not going to see is that the backer is going to run out. And Streeter is going to try to widen the corner. Ja'Cory Harris is getting pressure here. And because of the pressure, he makes the decision. But he did not realize that Joyner stayed in the middle of the field. And that's where that ball magnet got his pick. E.J. Manuel wants to throw it, and it's deflected and knocked down. People who make complete. the great decisions under pressure separate good from great. Last year... Harris threw 15 interceptions. The year before that, 17. This year, only five. Manuel sacked and lost the football. It's still free. The players don't see it. You can see it there right on the five-yard line. Now the Canes are saying they have it. 
It was free and just rolling around the grass for a while. Jeff Flanagan, the referee, now says Florida State ball. Boy, well, that was rolling around the ground for anybody. You know, was, you know what was really good about that? The umpire, Danny Worrell. Here comes the sack off the top. It's Chicolo on one side, Olivier Vernon the other, and the ball just flopping like you said, Sean. They didn't even realize it was out. Now there's the mass of humanity. Now here comes the umpire, and he's going to dive in just with the rest of them. There's the ball flopping around. It's right at the feet of Zebri Sanders. He had no idea. Big number 77. And now it, watch Whirl, it, the umpire. See the U? He's just going to dive right into the middle of that pack. And he sees it right away. He's yelling back to the referee who had the ball. And now he's going to make sure he got it. Much better place though on the top of that pile. <laughs> That's a good throw here at the bottom. Everybody's standing up along the line from Miami. They come after the punt. Sean Powell got it off. Oh, that's a huge mistake. Misplayed by Benjamin. Now the set. question is, did he touch the ball? You cannot advance it, but it will be Florida State's ball back at the 28-yard line. Well, that was a catastrophe for them. First and 10, Florida State. No score late in the first quarter. Manuel throws it up for grabs, and it's almost intercepted. Should have been by Mike Williams, who is really upset with himself that he didn't have his first interception of the year. Mike Williams transfer from Wake Forest. Now the freshman, Devontae Freeman. Turn the corner, tackled from behind around the a waist. Lot of, he's got a lot of talent. He played at St. Thomas Aquinas in Fort Lauderdale last year. Short pass, good call. Kenny Shaw didn't get the first down, but got close. Got to the 20 on third and 12. Got 10. He's going to have a long career in the NFL. 37-yard try for the junior from Houston. And it's right down the middle. Dustin Hopkins to kick off. And here's an update from Robert Flores. All right, Sean, for the first time since December 19th today, and a lot of the things that went on today was, was all about them. Sean and Matt, back to you. All right, Robert, thank you. So Corey Harris on target. Nice catch. It's Chase Moore. I'm proud of I thought today. Yeah, I thought I thought the exact same thing, Sean. Well said. Lamar Miller carries to the 40. A four-yard gain on what will be the last play of the first quarter. Miami turned it over twice, and it easily could have been three were it not for a controversial replay review. Down by three, held the ball twice as much, is mauling them in yards, but they're down. And Florida State hasn't had a first down. Miami had seven in the first quarter. But it's three-nothing Seminoles, a couple of key Miami mistakes. To Corey Harris. Tried to dodge the rush. Might have just gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Line of scrimmage. Uh, okay, got it. And they are one of the best sack teams in the country. 30 sacks coming in. Third and six. Harris with time this time, but can't find anybody. Went back in the direction of Warner. That's not always a good idea. The pass is caught by Chase Ford, but he looks to be short of the first down. Sophomore from Taft, California. Playing to Greg Reed. The active ACC leader in punt return yardage. He feels it at the goal line. Gets a block. But made it just to pass the 10 yard line and now flies. So catching it at the goal line is not one of your rules. Ooh, nice block by Miss Williams right there. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> they start from their own six. Devontae Freeman through a nice hole. Squirted ahead to the 13-yard line. Gain of seven. It'll be second and three for Florida State. Kelvin Kane back the line of scrimmage, and they're going a little quicker pace here. 2000, the last time they did it. The streak that ended in the national championship game against Oklahoma. Devontae Freeman lost yardage. Olivier Vernon, who's had an he's active really skill. He's just, like you said, he's just kind of scratching it right now. Boy, offensive line didn't move, and then Manuel 
that might be buried. A, that could be a safety, Sean. If, yeah, they're going to throw the flag in the end zone. That's a safety. Anthony Ciccolo had Manuel. With a lot of emotion and trying to make a big play. But it looks like Florida State never got the snap count right. And so Manuel is not ready. So he tries to spin out of it. Look, he has his, he still has a mouthpiece in. And he put his wherewithal to put it in, but not the wherewithal to understand where he was. The center had to snap the ball early. Because none of the offensive linemen moved. And he didn't... What's going to happen next, do you think, in this game? <laughs> We're seeing a lot of different ones, that's for sure. Sean Powell, not a lot of room. Bombs one out of there. Travis Benjamin back to his 37-yard line to catch it. And he got upended near the 50. Bounced ahead to the 47. Five Pacific on ABC. Miami begins in Florida State Territory. Lamar Miller. Ran in and Nigel Branham after a three-yard gain to the 44. It'll be second and seven. What that tells you is they've got a lot of work to do in the offseason. So Corey Harris out of the gun, trying to set up a little screen to Eduardo Clements, and they had it snuffed out. Loss of a yard on the play. Well, he was here as the first-year defensive coordinator of the Nola. Third and seven, loud noise. Doesn't bother Harris. First down to Tommy Streeter. Down to the 26-yard line. 18-yard game. He, he didn't bother Harris because there's nobody around him. And then Streeter gets to the middle of the field just like you're supposed to look at this protection. Nothing there. They never covered Streeter. Yeah, and that's to the middle of the field. There should be a back seat. The backers sucked up. Whoa. There's nobody there. It's right in front of, uh, of the safety. I can't imagine that's the way Mark Stoops drew up that coverage. I think you might be right on that. When we talked to him yesterday, he said stopping Streeter was a top priority that have matched up a lot of today with Xavier Rhodes, their best cover man. Lamar Miller, good run. Bounces off a tackler and has a first down to the 15ers. Robert Flores. championship game. And the toughest game remaining for Boise State, that home game with the Horn Frogs today. Even Morris in at quarterback, hands it off inside the Miller. And powers down near the 12 yard line. Already over the twice as much time as Florida State, but they still trail three to nothing. Harris has thrown an interception in the end zone, trying to avoid a big mistake here. From the 13, second and seven. Pulls it down and runs. Has a first down inside the five. Tackled around the ankles by Nigel Bradham. Ten first down for Miami. Florida State still does not have one. Lamar Miller down to the one. He kind of just gives you enough patience before he bursts the hole. Time to four three in the forty. He can also run. Kind of powered in, got to the line, and that's it. Kind of powered in against a very stout Florida State defensive front. football player. He said he never liked you, which I find surprising. <laughs> Mike James now the tailback. Well, they're going to throw a lob, and it is caught. Clive Walford, the tight end, with his first touchdown of his career on a two-yard pass. And the Hurricanes, who have dominated at this point, now have the lead. That one is on because you have a size mismatch outside. No matter how that defender plays you, the right throw wins. And so he sees that he's fronting the receiver. And so all you have to do is throw it high and behind, and Clive comes down with the catch. Yeah, he's 6'4". Mike Harris trying to cover him is 5'11". Big white claw. That's the extra point. Al Golden for their service to our country. Jake Wyclaw kicks off. 7-3 Miami now, midway through the second quarter. Here comes Greg Reed on the return. To the 34-yard line, Eduardo Clements took him down. Here's today's Affleck trivia question. Ago. Was it? E.J. Manuel. They've run 12 plays. They have 13 yards of offense. No first downs. And now they have one. And plenty more. Christian Green the catch through the second quarter now. First and 10. Florida State at the Miami 42. They rush five. 
Manuel able to dump it off. Devontae Freeman. Now to the 32, close to another first down. Back down the paces. It was working until that last first down. Let's see if the pep talk works now. I don't know what he's upset about. They're going on one first down. Here's the second. Devontae Freeman. If they're having problems with the signals, they should have problems with the signals all the time. 15 tackles, tore his hamstring off the bone, end of career. Manual all over the place, and finally they get him down for a loss. That'll be a sack. Back at the 29-yard line. Run will stop the man. And that's what he has. Second and 12. Five-man rush again. Caught in the flat by Christian Green. Out of bounds, shy of the 20-yard line. Taken out by Mike Williams. And a big third down upcoming for the view of Jimbo Fisher's lips. Gets a lot of help from James Coley, their fine offensive coordinator in the box. Manuel throws in zone, and it is caught. Touchdown, Rodney Smith. Rodney Smith got on top of the coverage. And the corner was waiting for help from the safety. It's a stunner move to the outside. Here comes the safety, but the ball beats them both there, and Smith comes down with six. And the extra point good by Dustin Hopkins. 66 yards. 15 touchdown pass of the year by E.J. Manuel, the junior from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Travis Benjamin brings back the Dustin Hopkins kickoff. Flags down. Benjamin all the way to the 40 of Florida State. But there are flags on the field. Chesterman tried to knock the ball out. Corey Harris after the fake to Lamar Miller. Throws, low throw, and the catch is made by Alan Hearns, the sophomore. the first down to the 32. Here's Robert Flores. This is in. On first and 10, Stephen Morris, who came back in a quarterback. Wow, did he get rocked. There are flags down. Nick Moody. First and 20. Each team has been penalized four times. Going down to three minutes left in the half. All three timeouts remaining for both teams. Harris to Streeter using that size again. Catch made in traffic. Good catch, say the officials. At the 46-yard line, 24 yards, first down. That's all Streeter because Mike Harris has outstanding coverage. It's just Streeter just goes up and gets it. Look at that. That wow. is, that's really good. And then he, he, he's the guy who controls the ball on the way down. Harris had a shot at it. Good position. Played it well. Streeter played it better. Stewart really? signals in the defense. First and 15. Two minutes to go in the half. Problems for Harris and Miller. And Harris goes down with a loss on the play. Back to the 39. They lost two. They've been pretty beat up. And they've been kind of mixing and matching. Offensively, though, They've had more consistency in terms of who's playing. The inconsistency becomes how they're playing. And the clock is rapidly winding down. Stephen Morris back in, high throw, and Alan Hearns couldn't catch it. With Greg Reed in coverage for the Notion. I don't get it either. And Harris has thrown the ball very well. You've deemed him to be your best. Why would you take him out of the game on second down and long? Harris back in. Throws on the run, diving catch, incomplete pass by Clive Walford, the receiver. Old Walford's mark. And as soon as that happens, that's that's half of the win when you're playing zone defense. Walton Box, short punt, takes the Miami bounce, fielded by Greg Reed. Gone. He's going to go.
Outstanding athlete. Jimbo Fisher was telling us yesterday, Hopkins regularly in on tackles. Runs a 4-5-40, can dunk a basketball. In addition to being a 3-8 student, one of the leaders of this team as a kicker. That's unusual. Benjamin got rocked at the 19-yard line. Toshman Stevens. These games have been so meaningful in the national picture. Sometimes one versus two in the country when Miami and Florida State met. Nothing that significant on the line today, but still they're playing like it means everything. Befitting this great rivalry, Brandon Jenkins. Year, it's just been receiving a lot more attention from the opposing team's offensive line. Morris back in at quarterback, and Eduardo Clemens is shoved out of bounds. They're going to mark him. It's a tape, and you see what other teams think of him. It's how they play him. And what you mentioned is 100% correct. They chip him, they double him, they respect him. Lamar Miller on third and 13, stopped at the 25, the ball's out. No signal yet, now there is, Florida State ball, with eight seconds to go in the half. And Wayne Kiffin in the game against Stanford A, as soon as we're down, I want a timeout. Can't extend the play here, has to be pretty quick, like now. Yep, lofts it, back in the end zone, threw it away. And save time for the field goal. Over 79%. Success rate in his career Challenging Sebastian Janikowski for number one all-time at FSU Janikowski 79 and a half percent and we made it Yes, you did <laughs> Sorry Dustin <laughs> Well a lot of surprises in these rivalry games including a missed field goal By Hopkins one of the best in the country At the half Florida State 17 and Miami 7 out of the studio with the halftime.